So this is my visit to the Nibbles Car Show. Um, lots of interesting cars. You've got some American police cars here. Uh, at the start of the show. Uh, boat tail Buick Riviera. This is a Buick Riviera with a boat tail on the back, as they call it, from 1971 or 72. Very nice car. One of my favourite American cars. And um, next to it is this Bluesmobile. Uh, it's a Dodge Monaco Bluesmobile replica. I don't think it's the one from the film, but it's a nice replica anyway. You can see Nebworth House in the background there. And then we've got a real genuine ex-New York Crown Victor Ford Crown Victoria taxi. Um, looks like it's a real real one, not a fake one. It looks like this actually was in service in New York. Judging by all the stickers, looks like it was a New York cab. And uh, someone shipped it over here and uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool sticker. You don't see these in New York anymore. New York taxis now are all Toyotas and foreign makes. There's no such thing as an American yellow taxi anymore. Sad to say. There's a, a Mr. Bean Mini. I think that's another replica again, but they put the chair on the roof and the mop to replicate the one at the, at the show, which is pretty cool. There's an American police car, Ford Crown Victoria. Then we've got this bullet replica Mustang uh, with the man himself in it. It's a replica of the Mustang from the bullet film. And uh, yeah, there he is, Mr. Steve McQueen. I don't think it's really him somehow. <laughs> It's quite cool to see that though. He was there in spirit, even if it wasn't really him. But yeah, really nice fastback design on those Mustangs, really cool looking cars. And then we've got the first of many Ford Granadas. This is a Mark 1, uh, several Mark 1 uh, limousines. There's a stretched estate car there. There's the limousine from the front. Yeah, we've got Mark 2 Granadas, Mark 1 Granadas, and uh, the Mark 3 Granadas. The only Granadas I didn't see there were um, the hatchback ones, the last uh, version of the Granada. But apparently it's 50 years of the Ford Granada. Yeah, Ford Granadas galore. Yeah, it was 50 years this year since the Granada came out, which must have been 1972. So there's all the different versions here. There was a good turnout of Granadas here, but uh, more than I've ever seen in one show. But um, it was nice to see so many Granadas, especially the Mark 1s. Because most of these four Granadas, yeah, there we go, put another caption on there. Lots of four Granadas. But yeah, most of these Mark 1 four Granadas ended their days on the on the banger track. A lot of them got banger raced and uh, crashed and uh, destroyed because they were very good at very um, good at the banger track. I think they were quite hard wearing cars and took a lot of the damage quite well. But that's where most of them ended up. But it's nice to see some survivors, including this old police car. Which is very cool. The lights and everything on the top, lights and horns on the top. And there's a dashboard. Really cool car. I was in two minds about doing this voiceover because. <laughs> yeah, there's another caption. 50 years of the Granada. Yeah, I, I, the footage I'm really quite happy with, but I didn't know what to do about the soundtrack on this video because. I had to sort of, I couldn't use the background music because there was some woman singing the whole show. Some woman kept singing these stupid songs that no one really wanted to hear, it was awful. And uh, so if I left the background music on it and not done a voiceover, I'd have got done for copyright music. So I um, could have done without her singing. Um, this is a, <laughs> as the caption says, it's a Lee Francis Lynx. Never seen one before. Apparently they only made six or something like that. They showed them at a motor show back in the day and uh, got no, no orders at all. Nobody ordered one because no one was stupid enough to actually want one. Hideous car. I've never seen a car so ugly in my life. Ugliest car of the show. Yeah, quite possibly. And that's an original colour. That's the colour it came in. It came in that lilac colour. And, uh, yeah. Vauxhall Victor Estate and uh, Volvo 244 Estate. Yeah, I, I know these videos can sound a bit boring with my voiceovers. I'm not keen on my voiceovers. Um, then we've got a Buick Riviera 72 or 71. Two of those Buick Rivieras in one show. Pretty cool. There's a Renault 4. And the Hillman Minx that I saw at the Bedford Motor Show. But look at the rear styling on that Buick. It's really, really cool. This is the same colour as the one they used in the Due South TV series, which is in the 1990s. About a Canadian Mountie coming to America and... Uh, the cop drove one of these in this exact same colour. 
I'm not sure what it's called Juice House, I think it was called, and it was a brilliant, brilliant show. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, lots of hot rods. This is a B series ERF truck from 1980, I think. So my voice is a bit croaky. Not very good, is it? <laughs> yeah, that was in nice condition. Very nice truck. It's the only truck that was at the show, actually. It was supposed to be more commercial vehicles than that. That was the only one I saw. Got a mini and matching trailer here and a very nice uh, four Cortina from 1978, I think, with an S Reg. Very nice. Just so rare as hen's teeth, those Cortinas now. And the mini with a trailer. A Vauxhall Senator, that's another rare car, you don't see those anymore. The police used to have a lot of Vauxhall Senators back in the day when I was uh, younger. And then we've got an A40 rally car, and this is a really nice car. We've got a, let me get this right, it's a Rapier Fastback. Sunbeam Rapier Fastback, that's right, I couldn't get my words out. It's the Sunbeam Rapier Fastback, yeah, and it looks a lot like the old uh, Plymouth Barracuda, I think, from the 1960s as well, but uh, yeah, nice car. Yeah, this is a Renault 15. There was a Renault 17 as well, which has slightly different real, uh, windows on the side. The side window treatment was different on the 17, but the 15 and 17 were basically the same car. I remember seeing these around a lot when I was a kid. They used to be quite common. When, well, you know, not common, but they were, you know, you quite often saw them. But uh, yeah, it's the first time I've seen one for years. And this it must be a very rare survivor. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the only one on the road in the UK. But. Uh, and we've got a Lotus Elite with a Coventry Climax engine. My uncle used to have one of these years ago. Yeah, Coventry Climax engine, which uh, I can't remember. I think, I think Climax made forklift as well. Something I think they did. Anyway, very nice styling. This is uh, a console Capri. Ford console Capri. Very nice interior. That interior does not look standard. I think those seats are aftermarket ones, later additions, but uh, stylish car. I believe it wasn't so popular back in the day when it originally came out. I must stop saying back in the day. I hate that phrase. Back in the day. Yeah, excuse me for saying that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then we've got an Austin Princess. Well, it's not. It's just called a Princess. It was a Leyland Princess and it wasn't an Austin. But yeah. The old wedge design and typical fashion it's broken down two people under the bonnet trying to fix it <laughs> and obviously a split screen Volkswagen camper and another a very nice Mustang I think it's a Shelby that Mustang and here we've got a really nice car I really like this one De Tommaso Pantera a lot of spare space in the engine bay the engine seems quite set forward in that one but, uh, yeah, sort about the background noise, the dog's having a scratch. <laughs> yeah, really nice car. Detomaso Pantera. And that was the dog as well. Sorry. <laughs> you don't come and watch my videos for high quality voiceovers, you know what you're going to get. A rubbish voiceover and lots of shaky camera work. <laughs> Partly I don't know why I bother making these videos actually, because I know the ones not very many people are very interested, but... I'll keep making them and putting them together till I get completely bored of it and then I'll probably stop but uh, I don't know I used to take lots of photos at car shows and now I take videos but uh, which would be alright if I had a gimbal and could stop the shaky camera work and actually filmed it so that film the um, actual viewfinder was actually not wobbling about all the time but anyway a couple of American cars that's a Cadillac what the other one was I'm not quite sure uh, that's definitely a Cadillac the 50s and I really like American cars I do know some American cars but I'm not sure what that gold one is I'd admit that um, it says Dodger on the back I think it might be a Dodge possibly that's, an El that's a Chevy El Camino I know that much bright green and black Chevy El Camino nicely, nicely customised really nice wheels I quite like the paint job looks really cool Looks like a Hot Wheels model. Hot Wheels model in real life. See, I can't even speak. I try and talk, and my words come out all wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the poor quality videos. But uh, thank you for sticking with me. If you're watching this video, thank you for watching anyway. But we've got a bit more to go on this one. 
Yeah, there's this car here as well, which I think might be a Dodge. I don't know. <laughs> but a very nice car. Nice big V8 in that. But, uh, and there's the 50s Cadillac. In his early 50s, I think. And I really just filmed this because I really like this bit of chrome on the side. This sort of uh, aircraft design chrome uh, mascot thing on the side. And then we've got another couple of American cars which I don't know what they are. I really should know. Is that an Impala? I'm not sure. I've seen this red car at a previous show. I've seen that at a show previously. A different one. I've seen the same car at a different car show, that's what I'm trying to say. But what it is, I don't know. I just know they look pretty, they look cool. I like the way they look, they're stylish. And uh, better looking than a lot of modern cars, but a long way. So this is the end of the video, a couple of minis. I'll see you in part two, which is coming up next. Cheers.